what's happening now is this enormous contraction and we we live in these we live in, inside these cycles of expansion and contraction every 10 to 12 years there's an economic contraction following a huge expansion we see this in the seasons right there's the contraction of winter and then the enormous expansion of spring and summer so these are very natural cycles breathing is an expansion expansion and a contraction a menstrual cycle is an expansion and a contraction these are the laws of nature however despite the fact that these are the laws of nature and we see it everywhere because you cannot have expansion without contraction and vice versa just like you cannot have all light with no shadow they come together we do a lot of things to try and deny the existence of the contraction and we we do many things to pretend that it's not happening to stay expanded for as long as possible and to resist going into the contraction which is crazy right and we see that right the media in terms of talking about the financial situation that we are now in ourselves we find ourselves in now right a huge contraction economically and socially probably the biggest of our lifetime but something that people saw coming for a long time but in the news they talk about it like it's the first time it's ever happened right the stock markets have crashed and everything except this happens like every 10 years it's quite a regular cycle so we really live in this collective denial of contraction what do we do when we're actually in a contraction right we all know what we do in an expansion we we go out and we grab things and we evolve and we hustle and we, we create and we you know do all these wonderful things that we love to do as humans but what do we do in a contraction we know less about that because our culture doesn't talk about that in a contraction we're being forced to go inward we're being forced to retreat and to source ourselves and to reset it's like a giant pause button has been hit and we have to go back in just think about winter right it looks like nothing is happening on the outside it looks like everything is dead but we know it's not dead it's resetting it's saving energy to come back out again things are being fixed things are being healed tiny micro processes are happening underground foundations are being restored um, cells are, are growing and so that when this huge eruption of spring and summer comes, it's like it came out of nowhere. But in fact, that process has been a long time in the making underground. What do we do with this time where it feels like so much is out of our hands, but we do, some of us do have more time on our hands. And we also, to stop ourselves falling into a trap of like worry and anxiety, some of us might like to keep ourselves busy is thinking about if I'm in a winter right now, what can I do? to build really unshakable foundations for the summer to come because it inevitably will come and now is a time when we are being forced to go inward we're being forced to retreat we're being forced to stop and to pause is actually a beautiful moment to individually and collectively kind of do an analysis of our lives our work our businesses what do we want what are all the things that I keep putting off that I never get round to that now would actually be a good time to do? I'm going to share my screen. I hope you can all see this. I think this is a beautiful demonstration of the other half of our world, the other half of our universe, the other half of us that we don't always think about, right? The top of the tree, that's the expanded part. It's all the wonderful things we want. We want the success. We want the big dreams realized. We want um, the glory. But underneath, the same size as the tree above is this huge root system that goes deep into the darkness, that explores the depths, and has this really, really strong foundation. And this can be a time for some of us to go down and to explore some of that underground stuff 
and to maybe build these strong foundations from which our tree will grow even taller, even bigger when we come out of this. But it's times like these that provide the perfect training ground for us to really grow. You know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. It's a cliche, but it's very, very true. And this is a time for us to actually put down those roots, to explore those depths of ourselves, to go down to, to hell in some cases and to find out what's there so that when when it is time to expand again when it is time to go out we can dream so much bigger and we can do we can get there with so much more ease and agility and strength because of the unshakable foundations that we were created in the really really hard times it is no surprise that some of the strongest people and businesses and institutions were formed in some of the most difficult periods of human history, simply because of being able to build that strength and create those unshakable foundations. And likewise, there will be plenty of people and institutions and companies that don't make it through these times, even though they're huge, even though everyone knows their name, simply because just being able to thrive in the good times and being too busy or too distracted to ever put down those roots, on the top, it looks like they're flourishing, but there's no base to keep them strong. And they might not make it. A time like this really separates the wheat from the chaff. And it's going to be a lot of change but that, that change and that open space provides a beautiful opportunity for those of us who do have some little seeds to plant to go there and to start planting them <laughs>